Hello, Norse! Screw you, that was funny. Howdy, y'all. I'm around the wheel. You're watching Uncle Roundy Cracks Pack. And today, before we open this one, I'm going to talk about a little superstition I have about opening packs. When I go to the grocery store and I pull a blister pack off the shelf, what I'm looking for is a pack that feels fat and soft. If I pull a pack off the shelf and it feels like hard, thin, lean, gamey, I reject it. But if it's dummy thick, if it's got some cushion for the pushing, then it makes me feel like there's something good inside it, and I get that one. Is that a scientific process? Not at all. There is not a whiff of logic or reason to be found in that. And yet, does it feel good? Does it feel right? You bet your sweet bippy it does. So I say that to say that this pack, when I picked it up, felt somewhere kind of in between. Uh, it wasn't thin and hard, but nor was it overly plump. So I'm deviating from superstition a little today. So that leaves one question open on the table. Will this pack be a complete bust? And will my insane prejudices be justified? Or will I pull four mythics and an amazing list card and be forced to rethink everything? Let's find out together. Let's go ahead and open up the pack. First things first, we want to see if we got a list card out of the deal. We did not. Ah, see, no list card already. See, I should only pick the fattest, plumpest, most voluptuous, most zoftic packs. Isn't that right, Mr. Human Warrior? All right, let's turn around and see what the art card has in store for us. Oh, ho, ho, ho. showcase artwork and signed. Let's get a load of that real quick before we look at anything else. Whose signature is that? That's a that's a very that's quite the that's quite the artwork and quite the signature. That is that is metal as all get out. Whose is this? This is Yaragoth Blood Sky Sire by Ian Miller. Well, Mr. Ian Miller, you have quite quite a cool signature there. Let's shine it in the light something. There we go. I, I see it. I am X. There we go. Very, very shiny little signature there. And uh, some pretty metal artwork, if I do say so myself. That's, that's a bit of a winner right there. Now let's move on to our land. Another Highland Forest. I feel like I see this one a lot. Let's move on and get to our uh, unicolor commons, which seem to be the case. This is a blue pack as far as commons are concerned. Carfell Harbinger, tap, add blue. Spin this mana only to foretell a card from your hand or cast an instant or sorcery. Not too bad. All right, and we've got stuff like Depart the Realm. We can use Carfell Harbinger's uh, tap ability to foretell this spell. <laughs> oh, oh, talk about synergy. Hmm. I like the way this pack is moving and grooving. We got the Mistwalker, the Walker of the Mist. Shimmerdrift Veil, a snow land. It comes in tapped, but you get one mana of any color. Can't really argue with that. Mr. Frost Peak Yeti over here. I feel like I'm drifting off to the left. Let's get in. Let's get over here. All right, now we're on to the uncommons, or a few of them at least. Bloodline Pretender, a three costing 2 2 shapeshifter, changeling, every type. Choose a creature type as it enters the battlefield. Whenever another creature of the chose type enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on Bloodline Pretender. Oh, <laughs> won't be much of a pretender for long. We've got another shapeshifter. This is the shapeshifter pack. Glade one. This is the uh, shift over and hold the card so that you can only see half of it. Video. Changeling. Whenever another creature named Glade Walker Ritualist enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. We are all. Mm, that's some spooky flavor text. Litjara Glade Warden. That was Glade Walker over there. This is Glade Warden. Another changeling. God, there's just changelings all over the place. It's like season six of Deep Space Nine over here. Oh my gosh. In every tree, 
our restless spirit beautiful and now our rare oh we've come to we've come to at least one rare reflections of litjara blue plus four enchantment as reflections of litjara enters the battlefield choose a creature type whenever you cast a spell of the chosen type copy that spell Ooh, a copy of a permanent spell becomes a token oh you get a token of the thing that you that's cool okay i can see that being pretty neat i'm gonna go ahead and call this uh, a pretty cool rare i could definitely find a place for this in a deck or two are we on to the foil already no this is just oh i think no we've still got quite a few cards left here this is thickish stack so that's just one rare of maybe multiples okay so we're doing all right ice bind pillar tap snow mana and tap tap target artifact or cre Ooh, very nice little lockdown there what have we got here oh okay now we're to a foil foil common okay so there was just one in the pack it's always hard to tell with these called time set boosters if you're getting multis or or what but uh we have here the elder leaf mentor the three two elf warrior who creates a 1-1 Elf Warrior creature token when he enters the battlefield. So there we go. Um, I'm going to call that an okay pack. We got a really rad signed art card and a rare that doesn't seem very much like bulk product. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and call that an okay rare. Maybe not a paying for the pack by itself kind of rare, but man, check out old Yaragoth here. Okay, that's enough of that.